Now to a story we've been hearing all too often lately. Homeowners falling behind on their mortgages and going into foreclosure. A Yolo County man had the opportunity to save his home, but his lender lost his payment, and that's when he called Curtis. Yes, they lost his payment. Glenn Morgan of Gwenda was barely able to scrape together enough money to save his home from foreclosure. He sent the check, but then the next thing he, he knew, his home was going up on the auction block. It's quite the drive out to Gwenda, set in the scenic Cape Valley. Blink, and you might miss this tiny town of 585 people. You let me have it, Spence. Come on. But Glenn Morgan can't imagine living anywhere else along with his dog, Spencer. He's put years of work into his home. I have actually tore out most of these walls. There are memories in the plants and trees given to him by his late parents. The rose is actually my uh, father started. Those are freedom roses. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have this place. I really, I don't. And he might not have this place in a few weeks after falling behind on payments. Bank of America notified Glenn he's in foreclosure. I'm worried, really. I'm almost sick about it. But the bank said he could save his home if he came up with $4,100. He scraped together the money, got a cashier's check like B of A required, and sent it certified mail. This receipt proving the check arrived. But then he gets this notification saying his house will be auctioned off in a matter of weeks. It's just such a letdown here. I thought, you know, I'm in the clear and, and here I am right now, you know, and they're putting a sell date on me. He says B of A told him they lost his check. They told him to stop payment on it and send a new one, but it's not that simple. Glenn can't get his money back from that cashier's check until it voids in 90 days, well after the May 18th auction date. I don't believe I should be punished for them losing the money I sent them. So we called up B of A. They admit the check was likely lost, and after we got involved, the bank expedited his refund for that cashier's check. He had already sent a new check after borrowing from a friend. Glenn says the bank said they are pulling his home out of foreclosure and they will not sell it at auction. Now Glenn and Spencer are home for good. I'm 51 years old and just me and my dog, and I want actually this place I plan on dying. Well, Bank of America initially told us they did not cash Glenn's check because it did not have his loan account number on it. But Glenn says he gave the payment instructions to the teller where he got the cashier's check, which happened to be a Bank of America branch. Glenn says B of A also said they would send him a $100 gift card for his trouble. Well, I mean, it's not your regular check where you would write the loan number. You would think that that would cover it, but I guess you got to put a number on everything. It's important to put it on there. I mean, his name would be on there, but if he had that on there, it would be yeah. that much easier to be found. But all this happened at Bank of America. They admitted that they lost it. Fortunately, we were able to get involved and help him get his money back so he's not out two payments Good. of more than $4,000 at the same time. who really loves call Curtis now. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> All right. If you have a similar problem you can't resolve, maybe we can. You could call our hotline Monday through Friday, or you could always go to our website and fill out our form.